there's something decadent about sticky buns, especially for a Sunday brunch. I think part of it's the time it takes to make the sticky buns and then the time to sit and peel them apart. I like to unravel my sticky buns before I start taking bites of it. To give myself time serving sticky buns for brunch, I want to make the dough tonight so that I don't have to get up too early in the morning. The dough for my blueberry sticky buns is a yeast dough, so it needs time to sit. And it starts with, to get the yeast going, a quarter cup of warm water. It should be just at body temperature. That's the perfect temperature to activate the yeast and get it started. This is instant yeast, so it dissolves very quickly and starts going to work right away, so I don't have to let it sit. I have half a cup of room temperature milk, just one egg, and two tablespoons of sugar. Here we go, that just blends the ingredients, and now for the flour. I'm adding just two cups of the two and a half cups right now because depending on the humidity and how the yeast is working, I may need to add a little more or instead of adding more liquid, then I've held back on the dry ingredients a little bit. I'm using fine salt in this recipe so that the salt dissolves quickly into the dough. I'm grating whole nutmeg right into the dough. I'll just add half a cup of unsalted butter while the mixer's going, and half a cup of the cream cheese. And I'll increase the speed just a moment. Touch it again. Perfect. It's soft and pliable, but my finger's not really getting stuck on the dough. It takes about an hour for the dough to double in size, and then it's ready to roll for the sticky filling. I'll just cover this up and set it in a warm but draft-free place for an hour, and then I'll be ready to roll and fill the sticky buns. So what time do the sticky buns go in? Uh, after I get back. I'll go get the tomatoes first. Okay. I've only got a little more work to do. Just to have to roll up the sticky buns, okay. and then I'll just go in the fridge overnight. So. And you have those little muffin tins? Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm greasing a 12 cup muffin tin because I'm making individual sticky buns. For the sticky bun filling, I start with half a cup of butter and a full cup of brown sugar. A tablespoon of cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon. And the last ingredient, maple syrup. The maple syrup, three tablespoons worth, adds sweetness to the recipe, but it also makes sure that it stays nice and sticky, even when the buns cool down a little bit. A teaspoon of the sticky filling goes into the bottom of each muffin cup. And wow, look at how the dough has come up and it's soft and it's sticky. And I don't have to be too ginger with it because now I'm gonna just stretch it and roll it out. I start by loosely shaping the dough into a rectangle and then I use that as my guide and roll out in all directions. It's so easy to handle. And now the rest of the sticky filling. I try and spread the sticky filling as far as I can to the edges of the dough so I don't lose those edges in trimming off the dough, but I try and leave about an inch gap on this side because as I roll it up, it'll push the filling towards the end. And now for fresh blueberries inside. I think that has to be one of my favorite additions. A traditional sticky bun usually has raisins or pecans or walnuts, but I love featuring fruits of the season. So in the spring, I'll start with rhubarb strawberry sticky buns, then move into raspberry, then blueberry and peach sticky buns are unbelievable. Spread them out a bit so every bite yields a little blueberry in it. And then just start rolling. Just gently. Cut it in half. And then I'll cut each half in half again. And then I just have to get three from each piece. Now the hardest part of making the sticky buns is done. So I'm really ahead of the game for when Chris and Anna come tomorrow morning. These will get wrapped and put in the fridge overnight where they'll slowly proof up and be perfect for tomorrow morning for me to bake off. 
Well, that means I'm in good shape for the morning.